Judy Rankin, Grant Boone here, watching Brittany Altamari for birdie at the fifth. Yes, I fear that uh, December is that box of chocolate. This is the third shot for Angel Yin, just pulled her second into the bunker. Yeah, she's played that fairly well, wanting it to go. Tough run today at the third and fourth. Yeah, good up and down from the bunker. At the ninth. Jarena Pillar for par. Third hardest hole on the golf course. Good for that for Jarena. There's only been a couple of birdies here today so far. Look at that start that Jarena made three straight to get it to three under early on. Lee six with her second at the ninth. Just 130 yards, dormant Bermuda rough. Look like a little nine iron on a good line. Yeah, nice one. Did, did you see your personalized earmuffs? Only six has this for birdie at the ninth. Pretty flat putt for a rare birdie on any hole out here, actually. Slightly uphill. Yes. First birdie of the day. And gets her back to one over, which is a good score today. Knowing what the weather is like in Korea this time of year, it's I'm not surprised to see that she has a wardrobe that is well suited to this. Kara and I um, had a visit with two or three of the players from Korea on the practice tee yesterday, and uh, we talked about the weather in Korea uh, this time of year, and they mm. said, well, we don't play this time of <laughs> year. <laughs> yeah, the season's over. He supports every activity that goes on in this country. But let's going to go as a two-putt, Karen, for Altamari. Yes, and still moving along quite nice. I mean, I can't emphasize enough how tough the conditions are out here. Oh, when the tour usually plays uh, this event. This is at the 11th. Megan Kang. And yeah, knocking that one in from off the green. Nicely done. There's a lot of slope on that green. That is a pretty good putt to hole. So she gets to two under par. It does have a, a change of grain about two feet short of the hole, which might send the ball to the right as it's dying. Oh, she just didn't hit it. Usually she's quite an aggressive putter. I think maybe that putt on the last kind of gets you second guessing a bit. Just spooked her a little bit on that last hole, maybe. At the tenth, this is Sophia Popoff. Okay. She'll steal one there at the 10th, back to even par. Judy, anything around uh, par is great today, isn't it? For sure. Par putt for Jin Young Ko. This one should move to the left and... No. Great look there from, uh, from our camera. You know, you wonder if she's saving herself for the major championship next week, because she has not looked herself well, in the... Two stars. You're right. She didn't look that great at right. the Pelican. Jong Un Lee six. And the match pop off. And does in this group of major champions. Lee six, pop off, and Stacy Lewis. Par putt at the 12th from Megan Kang. Grew up in Massachusetts, suburb of Boston, like Brittany Altamare. Just 23 years old. Well, way more than if it were still growing, yes. It's basically dead right now and almost usually tees the ball up. Never as bad a flyer out of there as you would normally get. That was a good putt. Oh, good putt. Yeah. Her home just north of London and in chillier con conditions. Maybe not this cold, but that's obviously helped her. Cheyenne Knight, the defending champion, her second to the night. She said earlier this week talking about the win. Had the best locker room I think I've ever seen there at Shady Oaks. Yeah. Oh, part. Two great saves. Keeps her a couple under, just one off the lead. <laughs> what does that even mean? Stacey Lewis on the tee at 11. 
we've talked about this little corner of the green where the hole is located, but it is actually a giant green from front to back, some 50 paces. Trying to fight her way back here after a tough few holes that she's had, a couple of double bogeys on the card, so that moves her back to three over. Has decided to come back and play this week and then the US Women's Open next week. She's a past champion. Has a home here in the Dallas area. They got back last Monday and said she spent two days cleaning her house because there hadn't been anybody in it for <laughs> nine months. Yeah, she's got 120. It is downwind, and I still think you have to be aware that going over the back is tough. So land this one a bit short. Had to punch out. Oh, oh, just nearly lipped out for birdie. So that should even things out nicely. Oh. Those hurt. That close to stealing a par after a errant tee shot. Nasahataoka is not a very tall player and she just has the most compact golf swing. It just, um, it just fit. Nasa for birdie. Open championship at Muirfield the year that Ernie Els won on that horrific day, which Saturday. I believe, was it the second round? Third round. Cheyenne Knight for birdie at the 10th. Seen a few made from over there. Pop off in Lee six. Coldest weather you played in and commentated in, Judy? The coldest weather I think I played in was um, in Pompano Beach, Florida. I want to get on with things. I think she just really didn't set up well to that little putt. Um, she got the ball started towards the left edge of the hole, and if it was going to do anything, it was going to go left. So. Just a moment ago at the 10th, So Yun Yu. Save her par. She told me yesterday she was growing quite um, accustomed to not playing tournament golf. And so she just kind of had to tell herself, it's time to get back. Let's go. To 12, world number one, Jin Young Ko. And not a bad spot to chip from, although she is quite below the green surface. Oh, my God. Eh. Well, seen that in the Solheim Cup. Would like to see her break through and win. Also trying to break through Brittany Altamare. She is this one breaking a bit to the right, and that was a good putt. Okay, so that's more like the Brittany Altamare that we know. Putt bogey for NASA. So she's going to fall back to one over. You know, Tom, I've learned uh, through the mask wearing and through the virus that um, you actually can tell when people are sincerely smiling. So it's a good stroke. Angel with a tremendous amount of potential. Stacy Lewis with her third. I think that 10 mile per hour wind is uh, not quite accurate. They rounded down. Yeah. Good shot. Supposed to get up over 10 miles an hour this afternoon, that's for sure. Yeah, when it was absolutely freezing, oh. I was a spectator. I was in college at the time at Mercer, not far up the road in Macon, Georgia. But Jerry, to Jerry's point, watching Arnold and Gary go toe to toe. At the 12th, So Yun Yu. Well done. Third at the 13th for Altamari. This is from 90 yards. It is straight downwind. But that'll give her another great chance there. That was a terrific shot. Mm -hmm. You know, getting the, the length right with that downwind factor. Yeah, coming off back to back bogeys. This is to follow it with two birdies in a row. Yeah, well done 
finds her way back under par. And it is a good day if you can finish under par. Cheyenne Knight, the defending champion, to save her par and stay under par. Well, you're just going to have it. It's just going to happen, as uh, Karen and the others have said. Your hands get cold. Xapano, 16 years old, a celebrated amateur. A very well composed young lady with a lot of talent. She has played all over the world. She's played on the Junior Solheim Cup team, Junior Ryder Cup team. To a tour event as a 15 year old. Par putt for Pillar. Tarina Pillar could actually um, be a threat any week that she uh, gets a hot putter. It is. I'd almost be inclined to, to remark it and, and put it down again. But obviously, she found the time to, to go ahead and hit it. Now this is the kind of day that uh, these players uh, would not go play golf. Um, but it reminds me of the USGA commercial that had the young man sitting under the shed. shot will move her out of a tie for second. We've got some players who haven't won near the top. Megan Kang, Pornanong Patlam's played 244 events. Back at the 15th and this whole location is pretty difficult today, isn't it, Jerry, as we watch mm -hmm. Jarena for birdie? Yeah, there's no easy ones on the screen, but this one <laughs> is borderline. Just trying to lag it up there closely and did a nice job of it. Really good. So she'll walk away with a four. Short hole, but it is tricky. I mean, that's uh, not surprising when you know who So Yun Yu is. Here's world number one, current number one, Jin Young Ko. Well, took a really nice tight line down the left side. Only had 150 left. As you said, that was one of the, the special aspects of uh, being at home for nine months. Producer's telling me in my ear that 8.30 is too late for breakfast. 13. Shire Knight for a par. A good stroke. You were saying earlier about this whole plane, the, the toughest. It's not really a surprise to see this for a par. Oh, it got a piece, didn't it? Looked pretty good. Still even par. Is a good position. She tied for second with Jay Marie Green here last year. You said it. Get the putter hot. She could do it. Coming back a bit in front of the green 15 Stacy Lewis was lucky the chip that she hit past the hole almost went down that slope at the front of the green but she's going to walk away with a four what well, coach got 113 from the upslope you can see she was trying to a little controlled swing there oh most pretty good job of it yeah it's one of the best we've seen See how Cheyenne Knight handles this third at 14. Nice shot. Nice shot. Almost perfectly. How about a rare birdie at the 14th hole, Nasa Hataoka? I mean, you're picking up ground if you make par. I think it's quite as simple as it appears from, from standing off the green here. It's a really tough hole location and yeah it just that looked like to be a similar kind of putt to the one that she missed earlier Tom. Yeah, we had a great look from behind it looked like she was aiming just fraction right side of that hole with a couple better shots I'd be right in the mix you know people can sometimes forget um, you know what it what it can mean. 
something like that right there. Right. You yeah. say you've got a 60 footer, you know, and you get it down in two, you stay even par. 17. Hit up for par. That was always going to be a very slow putt. Disappointing bogey from 80 yards, no question. Yeah, very much so. Alexa Panna with her father on the bag. Is saying that she had got some advice from the great Bob Toski. And um, he was a good friend of yours, Judy. And he said to her, never get tired of winning. She misses the putt there, which I thought was an interesting quote. And a good advice. It's been a tough day today for Alexa, but it's it's not easy to come onto this sort of stage and then have to deal with these conditions. How does she perform, you know, as the world number one? And can she continue the sort of golf that she played last year on the LPGA? And it's not as if no one's watching Nasa Hatooka in Japan either, by the way. Hopefully we will be back there next summer. It will be almost normal. Jin Young Ko, 16. Well, and I tell you what, see the last few holes, she's hit some really good quality iron shots into these greens, and we're starting to see some of the form that we expect. As uh, we all know, it was just too difficult to, to get that sporting event to take place in France with all of the travel and the restrictions that were in place and the changing uh, regulations at the time. Altamari for par at 16. This putt back into the wind, and this would be a seriously good up and down if she was to go in. Oh. Remember, she caught a piece mm -hmm. of the cup at 14 when she was scrambling. Avoids dropping a shot there. Back with Sophia Popoff at the 17th, her third. Good looking swing. Really good result. Tentative. Just when you see a putt like that, you know the player just couldn't force themselves to, to hit it high enough. And she knows it. Bits come together for her, baby. She's so unbelievably good. Yeah. Uh, well, could go, could go. Yeah. It was over the green in three, chipped back to there, and then chips it in. <laughs> One of those days. Jong Un Lee six here at 17. You got your earmuffs confused. I didn't did, you? yeah. <laughs> mm. That doesn't happen very often on in a golf no, broadcast, it doesn't, does but, it? You know, Tom and I have seen strange things. Nordic <laughs> skiing, maybe, but not. Uh, We've seen the earmuffs come out occasionally. Between the pillar finishing up her round. Told Jerry it was one of the five best shots of her career. Get it to about 15 feet on the 18th, the toughest hole on the course. And a par four for Pillar. 17. Birdie putt for Jin Young Ko. Yeah, that would be a, quite a turnaround just for three in a row. Got it. Mm hmm. She seems to have just turned a little bit of a corner, Tom. Yeah, front nine. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, got, she bogeyed nine to go out in 2 0. Aldemari for par. Up and down for a round of even par. That's the order of business for Sofia Popoff at 18. Oh, oh that was in. struck oh, so in. well. So well. Yeah, the spin, yeah, nice shot. Exactly how we drew it up. of doubles on the front but really held it together got it back to three over drops a shot there nasa for pa yeah, she's done well there stays at level which is a good day